Hello guys, this is Damodoc82, and uh, we are back here in From the Depths Quest for Neater, part 91. Uh, last time we left off, we had a couple of fleets coming at us from this uh, fortress down here. That was a big pain in the ass the last couple of episodes because it seemed like I just could not get rid of these damn gray talents. So hopefully we'll be able to do that this time. So I'm trying to get an idea of what I want to do first. Because um, I'm... Well, how fast is that fleet moving? Yes, yeah, three meters a second. We could probably handle that without too much an issue. Uh, I wouldn't mind grabbing that salvage there, though. Let's see here. A lamprey, great axe, and a vulture. Can we handle a lamp free? Maybe. Ooh, I don't know if I want those guys going in there though. Receiving. Um let's see here. Where are my hammer highs? Cause that's the battle hymn, that's the Rex Mark II. All guns blazing. Where are my hammer high bombers? Did I move them all the way the fuck up here? I probably did. Yes, I did. God dang it. Slip me. Do we have them nearby midway? Yes. Receiving. So we'll move you to there. Now. And I kind of want the battle him to come up this way. Moving. Uh, Rex Mark II could probably go ahead and take out this fleet here. And we'll go ahead and begin battle. Forgot I had it paused. Oops. Alright, Rex. Actually, you know, let's just have Rex kind of sit there because I'm afraid it's going to collide into some of this terrain. We've already got some pretty good hits on it. I didn't make... well, me and Mady kind of made some upgrades to uh, Rex's weaponry. Um, it now uh, uses... Has sheet combos and uh, hollow point explosive rounds. I'll probably upgrade as soon as this battle's over. Actually, how about we shoot the one that's actually doing damage first? Call me crazy, but that seems like a more logical choice. Got a whole mess of torpedoes coming at it. I'm guessing these are probably the... Really, the sonar guided ones are going for the one that's on land. Okay. Makes no flipping sense, but whatever. That shot was a little high, guys. Alright, that's two damaged. Very nice. I 
There's the Caspian. Isn't that what we just killed? And it's dropping some torpedoes. We can handle it though. Oh yeah, it does look like a Caspian. Now I see where they got that look from. There was a uh, Russian kind of a seaplane that uh, they made way back in the day. It's supposed to be like a really, really fast transport, except the main problem with it was it didn't do too well on uh, rough seas, and apparently this one might have the same issue. Now. I think we're going to switch our fire to it. Because our main gun shells just do not seem to be able to hit that target out there. I think we got her. That looks pretty disabled to me. Oh, look at that block confetti. Good lord. Yep, AI dead. Awesome. Receiving. Now. Maybe I could try to get those resources there. I mean, 80k is nothing to sneeze at. Yeah, this thing is just kind of sitting there. Not doing anyone any good. Also, uh, I wanted to mention um, I have a special surprise for you guys when this gets to episode 100. Uh, if you've been to my workshop page you might know what it is but uh, well for those of you who uh, do know uh, I'll try to keep a surprise for everyone else for right now. That's one thing I love about the Rexmark II is this thing just hauls ass. We do seem to get a head off on it every now and then. Ooh, that was a good one. There's another good one. Damaged in enemy territory. That's not quite what I expected, but I'll take it.
And booyah, we have got that fleet knocked out. Uh, I think we want uh, Rex to take on this fleet here. And can we... Nope, not quite. Okay. Ah, there we did. Awesome. Alright. We'll see if we can knock out this little air force here. Rex does have some anti-aircraft capability, but not a whole lot. But I think that laser I got mounted on her will do some good work here. And I think we do want to have your navigation active. Because that is a lot of cram shots coming in our way. Funny thing about crams that a lot of people don't know is outside of 3600 meters they are worthless. The shells will actually despawn at mid-flight. Oh that great axe caught a really nasty round. Either that or it was the laser doing it. Yeah probably the laser. Yep, there goes the anti-aircraft missiles. Though they're actually made for more faster targets, they really don't care. Just more lead to throw in the air. There we go. How the hell does this thing manage to fit such a decent lamb system in it? I'd love to know. Yeah, I think we're just gonna have Rex go straight south. See what seems to be doing a hell of a job. Uh, did something explode? Because there's like a bunch of blocks. Hmm. No? Seems fine. Give her just a little bit of gas. Hey, we I did it, that fucker. Awesome. All right, battle finished. Pull all. Receiving. Let's see. I think. Moving 
now. Do we have enough gas for another fight? Oh yeah, we got plenty. Receiving. Just gonna plant Rex right there. We got a Hobgoblin and a Vulture, okay. Begin battle. And we're almost back to uh, a million resources again. How about that? I can get another one of these. This time I think we're just going to have Rex kind of lay low here. So we can bring all of our guns online. I don't know what the hell you were, but you went down pretty fast. And there's a hobgoblin. Oh great, just more cram spam. Doesn't seem like it has shields though. AI dead. Excellent. Does that mean we've taken down that whole fleet? Because I would love to get rid of this fortress down here. That's not a bad haul, actually. Now. But we're going to put the Rex Mark II right here. Moving now. Receiving. Moving now. Moving now. If I can get her over there. Uh, battle him. I think you need to meet up with the Midway. Let's increase the speed just a bit. Moving now. Moving now. Moving now. Moving now. Why can't you move? Moving now. Moving now. Moving now. Okay, fine. We'll just do this then. Receiving. <clears throat> I want to get rid of that damn fortress, and we're going to do it come hell or high water. Ooh, Rex, you need to move, buddy. Receiving. And I am spawned on top of it. We will begin the battle, and we will put the Rex Mark II on its course straight south. Go forth, Rex, and bring your DACA to the masses. I'm not quite sure what the hell we're hitting all the way out there, but I'm glad we're hitting it. Ooh, okay.
Yeah, it's that great X. Okay. Yeah, shoot at that instead. Be much appreciated if you did that. If we got Rex right about here, we could probably hit it. Is he going to be in degraded mode? Probably have a hell of a lot going on. Oh yeah, Rex Mark II, Ring of the Pain. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I don't know how effective pin depth fuses are going to be against this thing. Because <laughs> it's so thin. Oh, I should have thought of that. Oh well. Well, these guys look like they're chunky enough to take some 8 meter shells to the face. Actually, we could kill this too. You just kill everything, I don't care. like it is a nasty hit there. Pin depth is no joke, but it has to hit first. These guys can't even hit us at this range. What the hell? We got a clear line of sight to this great axe over here. Not quite, damn near.
Oh, we managed to AI dead that thing. Awesome. Seems like we're trying to take some pot shots at that great axe up there. Yeah, we're doing fuck all of that. We did AI dead something on here. Just throwing that deck every which way, aren't we? Okay, got a good hit there. Yes! We have killed it. That's also AI dead and being sustained by repairs. Ah! Cut off the head. I'll just pause that for a moment so you guys can read that if you want. Oh, that's falling in the water. Torpedoes be able to handle that crap. These are going to be a little bit more complicated. I think I'm just going to end the battle here because we are very, very close to uh, the end of the episode, unfortunately. So I'd like to thank you all for watching. This has been Damodoc82. You have yourselves a hell of a day and keep your hammer high. Later. <laughs>